Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have a layout to share with you. This is from some of my older stash and a Paige Evans cut file. The cut file is called Doily Pumpkin and it was free on her Facebook group, which is a happy place, a scrappy happy place, sorry. <laughs> And I just thought it was adorable, so I went ahead and took this old paper collection that is called um, Random. It's called Random Collection <laughs> by Crate Paper. I think it's from 2010. And I went ahead and cut out one of, well, I cut out the cut file. I'm going to get it together here in a minute. Um, I cut out the cut file on one of those papers from the collection and now I am backing it with one of the papers from that collection and this collection really isn't my style so much anymore so I find when I have older papers that I don't feel like I'm going to utilize I usually make a cut file with them or back a cut file with them and I find that I'm not wasting or giving away too many papers and I, I get to utilize my stash so I was excited about that and I really like how this layout turned out it is quite vintage compared to my typical style but that's okay I've been kind of all over all over the place with layouts lately and I've just been enjoying doing layouts that I want to do and um, dig into some of my stash or use some of my new or mix and match and I've been having a blast lots of cut fi files lately um, that has been kind of a kick I've been on so you'll see many more of those to come but today is Sunday and I've had a chance to get some things done over the weekend and so I thought it would be a good chance for me to edit some videos. So I'm going to try and have one up for you. Uh, this one should go up Sunday because um, I'm going to load it today. Then I'm going to try to have one for um, Tuesday and then one for Thursday. So keep an eye out for those. It's pretty lofty, but I've already edited them. I just need to narrate them and I have them piling up in my... Uh, video collections so why not go ahead and get them out to you if you know anyone that would like my channel um, please recommend my channel to others I've noticed lately that the scrapbook industry is kind of having another lull and um, there's a greater divide between independents and the bigger companies and so I just want to make sure that everyone is aware that there are lots of inspiration out there there are lots of using your older stash newer stash um, you know it doesn't have to be all from the big name companies either you can mix and match and uh, I just don't want to see the industry fade away I would like to continue to be able to buy these lovely products and bring videos to you and get to enjoy the the art so tell your friends out there if it's not my channel recommend other people's channel um, and just spread the word so that we can keep doing what we love and being inspired by others I have been very inspired lately by others and even with time constraints I've made sure that I have dedicated a small amount of time to doing some type of DIY which is another thing I'm going to show you um, I've been making some fall wreaths and I want to bring that video to you it's an idea that I got from another scrapbooker and I just love how they're turning out so much that I'm just making them like crazy and giving them to my clients and to my family and it's bringing me a lot of joy so um, I decided to go ahead and put a little bit of color on this cut file. I just felt it was a little bit flat. I do end up popping it up on some foam, but I just wanted to add a little bit of dimension with some color here. So I pulled my shimmers in my tie, Mandarin Mai Tai, and I'm just blending it out with my finger and going around the edge as if the sun or the light is coming in straight ahead 
and that definitely helps provide a little bit of I don't know more more realistic like it's really a pumpkin popping off the page <laughs> so I'm also adding a few splatters I'm gonna also dip into some colorings that is a shimmers product and it is called freshly squeezed it has no shimmer to it but it is a very vibrant orange and I will sprinkle that on the layout as well I added some of these artist loft colors just to add some white and a little bit of green to the stem and I think it just makes the pumpkin look more realistic so I do like how that turned out I think I'm gonna reach for that colorings now and add it and I do end up bringing some of those colors back at the end and adding them all around the page Maybe I hold off on the colorings for a moment. So here's another piece of that paper from that Crate Paper Random Collection. And I'm just going to freehand cut some large leaves to take to my sewing machine. And this is another thing I've been doing lately. I've just been cutting out large leaves and sewing them on my sewing machine to make them look realistic and making those wreaths and I'm going to tuck some of these behind the pumpkin so and, and to the side of the layout just to add a little bit more reality to the pumpkin. So here you see I've got my leaves just hand cut. I grabbed another piece of that crepe paper random collection so I got a lot of use out of this collection. I was really happy to do so. Um, I didn't I don't think I got to use the stickers but I did find this really old um, cut apart it wasn't even a cut apart it's like a perforated sheet and it is super old and I pulled a bunch of circles and labels and my title out of that sheet I don't even remember the name of it hopefully I'll show it here in the video but I was really happy to actually use that because that thing or that that thing that sheet is probably 15 years old so definitely not my style surprised I still had it and I just got a lot of use out of it on this layout as well so I did a little bit of sprinkling on the background here with some more of that Mandarin Mai Tai just to make sure it all ties in I did back the cut file with some foam tape that I got at Dollar Tree they had three rolls three different sizes for a dollar and it was really I mean it it lasted for several layouts so I felt like it was a good value if you have a Dollar Tree near you so just popping that up and there's my picture of my fun little grandbaby Ella and I'm gonna back her layout or her photo with this paper I don't know why I'm so foggy this morning it's got to be my allergies. I got plenty of sleep last night, so of course, always my allergies. Um, but yeah, I am going to do a thin cut around the photo so that that green barely shows. And I've been enjoying doing that lately as well. And look at how happy she is. She is my little pumpkin, so... <laughs> I thought it was appropriate to do a pumpkin layout. I was going to use the hip kit title, My Little Pumpkin, but I did not like the way, after I cut it out and I painted it, I did not like the way it looked. So I ended up finding that perforated sheet that I ended up using for the title. But this was taken right before Halloween, and I thought it would be a fantastic cut file and also represent the season because you know babies are always in their little pinks and yellows or blues and oranges and you don't necessarily know what season it was so I want to be able to note each one of the seasons that she's in or whatever the time period of her life is and I think I did that very well here even though the photo didn't have those colors in it so you can see I'm adding some of the perforated sheet, the little doily circle and the label and the border strip are all from that perforated sheet. 
and here I'm bringing in those leaves that I took to my sewing machine and also one of the labels from the sticker sheet from that crepe paper random collection and I'm just making sure everything is glued down now typically this background paper I would think to use for school or for a vintage photo but it was a very neutral perfect background for this layout and of course everything matched because it was pretty much from the same collection so I really enjoyed using it so that's kind of unusual here is another piece from that perforated sheet I wish I could remember I know it's crepe paper I cannot remember the name I do not think it's from the um, uh, random collection but I don't know it's so old you probably don't even remember it anyway I don't know why I'm trying to to remember what it is but I am taking a couple of the floral elements from that perforated sheet and building up around the photo and you can see I made my title there that says adorable and sweet because she is adorable and sweet she is spoiled don't get me wrong she likes to be held she likes attention uh, she's also a Gemini so <laughs> she really likes to to be in the middle of things and she likes to talk so I do find a couple of labels from an old Valentine's collection from pretty little studio the one at the top says love your smile and the one at the bottom says hugs and kisses and it has that mustard color that matches really well and then I thought of using this one of a kind I don't end up using it I think I find a couple of floral elements from the pink fresh studio everyday musings ephemera that I'm digging through here I love that little gold sprig of leaves and I do place that behind the green leaves and I'm also going to find a little uh, flower that's also in that gold and I'm going to tuck it in as well so mixing old with new with fairly new that collection came out this year 2019 so something that's 15 years old and something that's five months old <laughs> So dig in, dig into your stash. You never know when you can use it. So here's another little floral element I think matches perfectly. And I'm going to tuck that in and glue it down. And I also find another label that I'm going to put at the bottom left of this layout. So lots of dimension on this page. I think the leaves added a fantastic dimension. Um, element and then also popping up that pumpkin made a big difference and a couple of the florals I end up popping up as well so I took the, uh, these two labels one says good things grow and the other one I just glued down to the bottom from that everyday musings and that is popped up as well so that it is even with the pumpkin and then I also wanted to use some of these Maggie Holmes puffy stickers and for whatever reason it just says Maggie Holmes on it and I really wish that she would label which collections go with which I know this one's called chasing dreams because I end up using that on my layout but um, typically I do not remember which collections are which because they're so similar so adding some of the puffy florals and I'm gonna bring in one of the butterflies and here's where I add this little phrase that says chasing dreams okay a couple of bows yeah I do add a couple of these dark puffy bows from Maggie Holmes Oh, and those little teeny tiny florals are from craft smart they were in the recollection or recollect I always say that they were in the Michaels dollar bin and they're by craft smart and I love those little things but you have to glue them down because they're so tiny they'll just pop right off 
So a light bow at the bottom, a dark bow at the top, and that little label underneath that dark pink bow says like, and the one below it says so cute. The like was from Creative Imaginations, and it's the painted labels. So that is it. That is the layout. I really hope you like it, and I appreciate you watching. Like I said, stay tuned for a video on Tuesday and a video on Thursday, and I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.